Hi, Deirdre McNamara here. I'm just going to do a quick video showing you how to uh, do charting in Microsoft Excel 2016. Uh, I'm just going to start off uh, here and we'll just go to the first charting uh, exercise. So in this exercise, these are the instructions of what you have to do, but basically these are the three charts I want you to create uh, out of this information here. So in the first one here, it's staff numbers uh, that I want to, I might just zoom in there so you can see that a bit better. Uh, so staff uh, numbers. So I'm just going to select, okay, so I'm just selecting one set of numbers here, okay, and you click uh, on insert and in here uh, we've got uh, 2D and 3D. So these are the same except it's how they appear. So this is a 3D appearance and this is a 2D appearance. This one here is where things are side by side and if you have two sets of numbers they're stacked on top of each other and this one here is the percentage. So the one we want is just the very first one here, clustered column, 2D, clustered column, we click on that and out pops our chart. That's it, done and dusted. Now if we want to move it, we just click and drag a white bit, keep away from the headings and everything else. I'm clicking and dragging on that little bit down there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create uh, this chart here, the pie chart. It's 3D in appearance, okay, it's not flat, it's 3D in appearance and it's a pie chart. And again, it's just looking at staff numbers. So we select, including the headings, uh, one row of one co uh, row of headings and one column of headings. That's all we select, and we go to insert and charts, and it's a 2D uh, pie chart. And we'll take a look. Okay, and we can see this is a legend down here. Their legend is down the bottom as well, uh, and that's it. And then we click and drag up. I didn't mean to click, so click, I broke my own rules, I needed to click somewhere white to move the whole chart away. Now, the next chart we want to do is this one here, where they're stacked on top of each other. It's 3D in appearance, and they're stacked on top of each other. So you can see it's staff numbers and managers. So this time, instead of just selecting one column of numbers, we're going to select two. So I'm selecting the two columns of numbers from A2 to C5. We click on Insert. Again, in here, it's 2D in appearance, they're or 3D in appearance, and they're stacked on top of each other. So here's all the 3D ones. The second one in, uh, it's stacked, so we select that one there. Now, this one here doesn't have the chart title put in for us. So what chart title? Total staff is what we wanted. So we click here on chart title, and we just click and drag across it and type in total staff. Okay, and our legend is down the bottom as well. And that's perfect, so we just click and drag it into whatever position we want. Okay, that's the first uh, set of charts uh, completed. Now we'll go uh, to the second set. Now this one here is a slightly more compli complicated. All the numbers have already been calculated for us. Um, but this one here, we're going to start off with sales. So here's sales. Always be careful, don't include your total when you're selecting for a chart. So we're taking in before and after midnight, midnight price or sales. Okay, so again, we select one row of headings and one column of headings. So we've got our one column of headings here and one row of headings up here and the two sets of numbers. That's it. And then click on insert. And up here, they're side by side. They're not st stacked on top of each other. That's it. Perfect. We select that one. Next thing we need to do is, you'll see we have our headings down the bottom, but this legend here is in the wrong position. Now, everything you want to do in a chart is up here. So click on add. It's on the design tab under chart tools, design tab. You should automatically be there, but if you're not for some reason, make sure you're under chart tools, design, and then add chart element. And everything you want to do with a chart is in here. So we have a problem with our legend. So we take a look at legend. And we can see at the moment before midnight and after midnight is down the bottom. But on the example we're trying to replicate, it's over on the right.